Hello, I'm Annie from Bad Squidder Games and welcome to my Kickstarter called Ghosts of Gaia. It is ten absolutely stunning figures. Well, ten in total. I begin with six, so hopefully we'll all go well and unlock them all. Um, they are all sculpted by Shane Hoyle and they will fit into all sorts of post-apocalyptic sci-fi gaming. All the very, very shiny and beautiful pictures are below, so I don't think I really need to to do that because apparently people don't read kickstarters anyway so you're going to go straight to the shiny pictures underneath there and see how cool the figures are but this little video is just to introduce myself really um talk a little bit about the company and why i'm doing a kickstarter so i'm going to keep this pretty brief because it doesn't need to be more than a few minutes um basically i used to run the dice bag lady which was all custom handmade dice bags this was really successful, too successful to the point that I had a constant list of orders and there was only me making them all. So it was a constant, you know, I would get up, I would make dice bags, I'd go to bed. I'd get up, make dice bags, I'd go to bed. And uh, one day my wrists decided that they were not going to play ball anymore and stopped working temporarily. <laughs> so that was fun. What I did manage to do was sort well after an initial crisis and wanting to you know quit everything um i then managed to pick myself up and do something to remain in the industry because i, I love this industry and i, I kind of don't want to go somewhere else so what i did was i set up believable female miniatures these kind of speak for themselves they are i manufacture female miniatures from all sorts of different eras, genres, and the thing they have in common is that they're wearing appropriate clothing for what they're doing. It's not any sort of anti-chainmail bikini brigade thing, you know, there's a time and a place, but this is just to increase the the choice. Because I, I initially started with shield maidens, so you go go having a look for shield maiden figures and they're like, oh, they're all in metal bras, I just wanted a tunic, you know? So that's what I do. Um, I kind of, part of what I say I do, and I, I do, is that I create the figures that 10 year old me would have been really happy, um, figures that will, would have made the environment better for a 10 year old me, because that is when I started gaming. As well as the obvious 10 year old girls, it, the appeal since I've launched this nearly two years ago has been way broader than, than I ever could have imagined, so you know there's obviously there's, there's children, adults, there's war veterans, there's a, a large amount of people who have come up at uh, trade shows and said, wow, I've been waiting 30 years for this. And for some reason, 30 years seems to be the, the repeated phrase. So maybe 30 years ago there was something. Or maybe not. Or maybe the average game. Anyway, <laughs> basically, yes, this appeals to everyone because it's just people that want female miniatures. And it, it shouldn't be a niche, but it is. Currently, it will not be forever. So the ranges that I produce are dark, mostly Dark Age and Soviet World War II so far. But I'm looking to branch all over the place. This is the, the first sci large amount of sci-fi figures that I have produced. So I think that it's handy to use Kickstarter just to increase. I've seen the, the reach that Kickstarter has and it's, it's huge compared to just releasing something because you know you, I'm gonna plug the hell out of this for the next week or so and really annoy people but you can with Kickstarter so I want to reach out and gain more customers and more people that will then go wow I've never heard of her because I'm constantly coming people coming across people saying well I didn't know this was a thing you know we've, we've been looking for for female minis and really struggling and I had no idea that you, that you were here so just to, to raise awareness for that and then more people will come maybe by the other things too um also when i began the company um when i started bad squidder games as i mentioned previously with the woo, <laughs> with my rubbish wrists um i had to build myself up out of quite a bit of debt which because the dice bags were my full-time job so when my hands stopped working i had this um issue of I need to rest, but I need to make money. So I wasn't in a particularly good state, but I managed to climb out of it. And I'm really proud that I did. And um, it was just from working my ass off <laughs> and killing my social life. But I've managed to do it, and the company is now really successful. And it it really was as simple as buying one figure, selling it, 
buying two figures, selling them, buying four figures, and now I have a massive stockroom of online merchandise. I go to shows, because as well as manufacturing, I also retail believable female miniatures from all sorts, over 50 different ranges. So it's it's massive, and the fact that people really want to want to be involved is just really gives me some faith in humanity, which is brilliant. So in the terms of the believable female miniatures, there's so much that I want to produce. And it's expensive. Making miniatures is really expensive. And it takes a long time sometimes to get that money back. So I'm limited by that. So even though everything is going great, there's only so much that I can release. I have to release it, wait, release again. I have so much cool stuff. I have so much cool stuff that I need to get out there and obviously you really want the cool stuff. So again, this is why I'm going to give Kickstarter a go because I, I need that push, you know? Um, and if I can get that push then I can get the sci-fi out, these Ghosts of Gaia. Then, if it overfunds, which would be so cool, if I get more than I need from this Kickstarter, then all that money is going to go into more figures. So if you are watching this and you go, I really like Bad Squidder games and he's cool, but I don't play sci-fi games, then the bonus of this Kickstarter is that the money you made from it, hopefully, if it goes well, will then pile into other figures. So, you know, there'll be more shield maidens. For example, I've got some beautiful shield maidens at the moment on my desk, but putting them into production is just expensive. So again, that will kickstart those. It'll just, it's, it'll kickstart my business. So that's, that's why it's great. And I, I'm hoping that I'm using it, you know, using the Kickstarter in the way that it, it was intended. And I feel like I will benefit so much from it. Because so many of, so many of these companies, you know, almost all my suppliers appear to be one men company. And before before I was dealing with them, I assumed they had at least five people, but it's just a lot of the time it's just one person in doing everything. Um, it's just so hard. So anything that can make a small amount, you know, it seems like a small amount, you know, maybe you buy a figure for five pounds. But the, the effect that that has is absolutely massive. So, yes, <laughs> back on Kickstarter. Um, I've got some beautiful figures. I've got starting with six, six figures. And then I have four more ladies to unlock. And then I have somewhere along there, there is going to be an Immortan Baggy. And if you do not know who Baggy is, then you need to do have a little look. He is the mascot for Bad Squidder Games, as he was my old Dice Bag Lady mascot. And he was a little scandalous bag guy. But he is in a very post-apocalyptic year in a new figure, so I'm going to put a limited amount of him later on, assuming everything goes well. So that'll be super cool. And then if it goes really, really, really well, I've got guinea pigs with fucking laser beams on them. Laser beam guinea pigs and jetpacks and shoulder spikes. Um, Darren Edwards is sculpting those. Um, he is fun and he loves that sort of stuff and I cannot wait to see them because he's already on it because we're being positive we're gonna be positive we're gonna have guinea pigs with freaking lasers it's gonna be great um I will stop talking now um and hopefully you are still listening <laughs> uh, I didn't put you off ages ago I will never ever be comfortable talking on a camera so hopefully this was all grand um go look at the kickstarter down there and over there you will see all of the excellent pledges you can pledge for the six figures at the moment and then as the others are unlocked you can add them on and then hopefully you'll get to a point where all ten are unlocked and then you can switch your pledge to all ten and then you can add more on if you want more of the extra ones and that would be great and I would be so happy um, I'd, I'd buy myself a new jumper I would buy myself a new jumper if I managed to hit this goal and everything go brilliant and maybe I'd buy a, a painting or something because it's this house is just bland but full of toy soldiers so maybe I could get a really cool painting but only after I've bought all of the really cool sculpts and stuff like that thank you very much and I will see you around in the comments and the forums and everywhere else that I will be spamming for the next week bye